morning, my little dumpster fire babies. How is everyone doing this morning? I hope that today is off to a wonderful, fantastic start. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Carrington. I would love for you guys to join this dumpster fire family. So go on and hit that subscribe button, click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. If this is not your first time here, hi, welcome back. How's the family? If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps me out. That lets to YouTube curate more videos, either from me or other creators that kind of match similar interests. Don't forget to go and follow me over on Instagram, over on the gram. Listen, you know, I always say I'm going to like start, I'm going to start posting more over there and then it just seems like it never happens. So here we are. Um, so just go over and follow me on the gram, but let's go ahead. Let's get into today's exciting video, which is I'm sharing part one of my <laughs> Sephora VIB sale. Yes. So it's currently the Sephora VIB sale. I have placed like six orders. This one has come in. The rest of my five orders are, should be here today and tomorrow. So there will be another one where I share that. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to, if I'm going to decide to do another um, order. Not 100% for sure yet, but there are some like new things coming out that I'm really excited about. So let's go ahead and let's dive on in to see what I have purchased so far in the Sephora VIB sale. I will say I got a ton of stuff this round. So first off is going to be this little Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Film Star, uh, the mini Film Star bronze and glow. So I really do like a lot of Charlotte Tilbury's products. Um, and I had heard people raving about this a couple years ago, I want to say, um, during the the holiday. Like it seemed like this always like recomes out during the holiday. Of course, they have the bigger size that you can get all year round. But this one definitely being smaller comes out during the holiday. I've always put it in my cart like, okay, I really want to get this and then I never do. So this year I was like, I'm going to do it. So you have this highlighter right over here and then you have like a really light, soft bronzing powder. Um, as you can tell, this bronzer is super, super, super light. I'm going to try swatching it. It's very, very light. So I don't think this is going to work for most skin tones. Um, my skin tone, which is like the fairest of the fair probably this will probably be like one of the only skin tones that'll really work for this unless you're really piling it up and then that highlighter is really beautiful her highlighters are more of like a lit from within or at least in this this one specifically is more of like a lit from within type of highlight i know that's like a huge thing right now a lot of people really like lit from within type glows so i'm definitely going to be able to get it with this next up from miss charlotte are going to be these dreamy superstar glow kits um, so these are some light wands. Um, you get the shades Spotlight and you get Glowgasm. No, Pinkgasm is what it's called. And Spotlight, yeah, okay. Um, so I really like, I have one of her um, highlights in, a, in the bigger size. I can't remember for sure which one it is, if it's even one of these, but I figured we could go ahead and we could swatch them. Um, again, these are little minis. But honestly, if you have a makeup collection that is like mine at all, here we are. Here's this pink gasm. This is going to be way, way, way too dark for me to use as a highlighter. But honestly, if you're fair and this doesn't work for you as a highlighter, I think this could be like a really pretty like glowy blush. Like if your look for that day is to look like so glowy and healthy and you're wanting to use like a ton of cream products to really make that glow come through, I think this is going to be great. This is really like a light basic kind of highlighter. Um, I definitely think this could work for a wide variety of skin tones. Probably not like every skin tone. Um, probably up to like uh, medium ish just because like even on my skin it looks like okay that might be a little bit too dark for me but you can definitely like sheer it out I don't know if you can see it it's like right here um sheer it out a little bit more so it does work for my skin tone so I'm really excited to have both of these I will definitely use them but also these would be great for like a gift so if you have somebody with like darker skin tone you know this would be great to like stick in their like gift box if you have somebody with lighter skin tone that would be great to stick in their box. You can definitely, you know, use it for um, highlighter, a blush, just whatever the case may be. So I really appreciate these little tiny ones because I bet you even with these little tiny ones. Okay, I'm trying to get them back in the box and it's just not working out for me. Um, but uh, as I was saying, like, I think that like these are just like a really good option. And even though like they're tiny, I probably still won't be able to use them up. 
with as much makeup as I buy, try out, review, things like that. So next up I have this foundation. This is from Iconic London. It's a super smoother blurring skin tint. This just released, I'm, I'm gonna be honest here, I don't think during this whole sale that things that I have purchased have been things that like I'm trying to restock, you know? Because I just feel like I just don't use up anything that I would really need to restock. So this is what it looks like. It's just a blur, it says it's a blurring skin tint. So I'm gonna, okay. And here is what it looks like, blended out. I don't necessarily think it's super like glowy or anything, but I do feel like it really kind of just like, even though my hand has like a ton of lines, I don't feel like it overly emphasized my lines. I don't feel like, um, you know, like if I put this on my face where I don't have near the amount of like lines and wrinkles that it's going to like set in and it's gonna look terrible. I think this might be really pretty. And I'm super into skin tints and something a little bit lighter. Usually the max I wanna go is medium. I don't want anything more than medium, um, but I'm even willing to go like a little bit, like a light. I don't want it to be super sheer either. I want it to actually cover up some of my redness. Um, so I really wanna try out this skin tint, especially since my skin is so dry. If you have really dry skin, doing something with a little bit lighter of coverage and definitely a little bit more hydrating. It's the way to go. So now I have a couple lip products. So the first off is going to be this from Pat McGrath. This is the Pat McGrath Midi Mini Nude Venus Lip Trio. Wow. So all of these are in the shade Nude Venus. So you get a lip liner, and I am a fan, it's a mini lip liner. I am such a fan of her lip liners. I love the formula. It definitely, it's like one of those that it's gonna stay. Like it's gonna stay. And then we have the Lip Shine, which is right here. It's kind of like a balmy. And then you have like one of her lip glosses. So um, I'm a fan of her lip formulas. I think they're really good, but I really appreciate it when I can get some minis because again, I'm not gonna use up the whole thing and her stuff is expensive. It is 100% expensive. So I'm, I always try to get like a little mini of her stuff uh, every holiday. Next up in the lips is going to be this from Makeup by Mario. This is not new. I think they launched like earlier this year, maybe end of last year, um, where he came out with a lip liner, a wooden lip liner, and a lipstick. So I'm just gonna be honest. I have personally never ever tried one of his, um, I just dropped everything. I've never really tried his lip pencils or his lipsticks. Um, I tried like those glow shine things that went viral a little bit ago, but here is the lip liner. It's a little bit darker and then you would add that to the center. Um, so I'm really excited. I feel like everything so far that I have tried from Makeup by Mario, I have really like thoroughly enjoyed. So I'm really hoping like this is no exception. This poor box has been through it. This poor box has been through it. Let me tell you all. Oof. Okay. So really, really excited to try these out. I hope I like, I hope I like them so far. Everything I've tried from Makeup by Mario, I've loved. Next up, I got a face palette from Hourglass. This is their holiday one. I got it in the shade Butterfly because it does seem like that's going to be um, a lot better for like light skin tones, fair skin tones. So it comes with like these cute little butterflies on it. Um, and then inside, you know, you have two finishing powders, you have some blushes and then you have some like different highlight options um so oh maybe this is a bronzer this is a bronzer i think and then these two are setting powders and this is like the the highlight so i'm really excited for this um i really like their formula so i'm thinking i might want to pick up the tiger and the elephant one just because it does give me a variety of different like highlight options blushes things like that so i'm really like highly thinking of picking up the other ones as well i then picked up two eyeshadow palettes in this order and the first one is going to be this from violet boss this is i love you cherry much so i'm a huge fan of violet boss's formula on a lot of things um so I really, really wanted to get this palette for one, okay, one of the reasons, and it's really dumb, okay, like I know, is that I love cherries. I don't know what it is, but I love cherries. Like whenever I was in middle school and I was playing basketball, so you start basketball in like third or fourth grade, 
um they would like have you like put your name and like draw a picture and that would be like one of your like your sport shirts and so i put care bear as mine and then i made little cherries around it and then i had the rest of it like black so anyways it was like black with cherries and then like my name Ugh, listen i love it so i i know that like looking thinking like it's going to be super red this is not this is definitely it does have some reds it has some pinks but this is definitely a more approachable neutral kind of like cherry palette and i am here for it again i really love her formula there have been a couple palettes where i feel like they were kind of misses like on the formula like they weren't as good as other ones so i'm really hoping this is like her standard quality formula because again i love her palettes i'm so excited for a cherry and i'm really really excited for the shades that are in here the last palette for this haul is going to be the adh uh, rose metals so this is their holiday palette and it looks very um similar to the what was it the what the hell was it called the no the novu palette is that what it was called an Ovu palette maybe um so like the pans look the same i really appreciate like the bigger pan size and less colors um than like all of the ones because i like i have like a ton of like matte shimmers like they're modern renaissance stuff like that um just because i feel like these are a little bit more cohesive and i feel like i would get more use out of just like these basic mattes right here than like having like 17 other mattes you know and of course i really really like the shimmer formula that's in like the oh yeah they're just so creamy i mean like these palettes that she's coming out with now are really 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 i mean they're just top tier they just are you know i can't i don't know what else there is to say but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these but like the mattes are really nice and intense you have the shimmers over a shimmer over here that just looks really stunning and pretty and then you have one right here i don't know if the light's hitting it enough for you guys to see it would be a great like inner corner so i'm really excited to finally get my hands on that i don't know what i was waiting so long for if we're going to be honest i have no idea because i could have added it to the million other orders that i've made in the past which is a lot so <laughs> the last thing that i had gotten is a gift set from sephora um there are a couple of things that i have already tried in it so this is the creamy dreamy good for you clean beauty must have okay there are so many in this thing that i have not tried that i'm really interested in trying so first up is okay i've tried the fenty gloss bombs but this is one where it's like flat you know like it looks like it's in a mint tin or something and then you like use your finger and put it on i'm probably not going to be the biggest fan of that if we're going to be honest i'd rather have something i can just apply not have to put my fingers in um, I have tried the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's an okay mascara. I'm not head over heels. I don't think it's better than sex if you want my opinion, but you know, whatever. Um, and then this is the Rare Beauty um, Pore Diffusing Primer. I have a mini of that already that I'm starting to work through and I love it. I think that's a, it's a really good pore diffusing primer. Um, definitely ranked in probably my top five. Then we have this ABH Clear Brow Gel. I honestly have not used a lot of like ABH brow products, which I know, I know. People are going to be like, what? Like they're like, they are the ones who invented brows. And I'm just like, <sighs> I know. Okay. I know. I just haven't, I just haven't used it. Okay. All right. Next up is going to be this Refi. It's like a liquid highlighter. So I'm so excited. I hope it's not too deep for me. I have tried a couple of things from Refi. And so far I've been like, you know, it's been like decent. You know, I haven't had anything. I'm like, okay, this sucks. Um, but it's not, so far it hasn't anything that's super wowing. So maybe this will be my super wowing item. Next up is going to be this Tower 28 cream bronzer. It's like an illuminating cream bronzer. I actually had this in my cart already to purchase um and then i saw this gift set because there were some other things i wanted to try and i saw that in there i was like okay well that's going to be much cheaper to buy this with all other products in it than it would to be just like to purchase each of these individually so i 100 was like yes this is what i need to buy and then last up is this makeup forever lip liner i hear so many people rave about their lip liners i personally have never tried any of their lip liners and this one is in the shade where is it um walnut oh no wherever walnut um so again i've never tried their formula i'm so excited to try it I'm so excited to just like dive into like this little set see what we come up with see what i like but yeah so that that is it that is all that i bought for that haul 
I will leave the amount I spent. Um, I will put what my total was, how much I got for free, like how much of a discount I got and what the total price was. Um, I will say with all the orders that I have placed so far, I have done the math and it's literally over $300 that I have saved so far, which clearly obviously means I was definitely wearing a lot. I was definitely using a lot more. So that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, definitely give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this type of content, definitely subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. Don't forget to go follow me over on the gram and I will see you all in my next one.